G'day and welcome to the Making With Miles podcast. I'm Miles Clark and we're here for another episode of The Shed. Now, we have two formats to the podcast. Um, we talk about building construction and all things related to the real estate industry through the lens of a building inspector. Now, that format is called The Shed and we also have a uh, format called The Journey. The Journey is where we have a, we dabble in personal development stuff and things to help better ourselves, which is something I enjoy and want to teach a few people about. So every now and then you've got to deal with that shit, which is cool. If you don't like it, skip it. That's fine. Now, on this episode, we will be discussing all things related to staging homes uh, if you're selling a property. This is going to be a nice and short, sweet episode, and this is just going to be from my perspective of a building inspector who's checked out over 800 and something houses and what I think's worth doing and not worth doing in relation to staging homes. Now, to begin, staging homes, what is it? Staging home is when you are selling your property, you move all your shit out, get some professionals in who stage the property with their furniture. Um, it can be a costly process. I think you average about three grand would be what it costs to them to get all the furniture out. They stage it all. It sits there for a period of time. If your house on the market for a while, then there's ongoing costs, but when the house is sold, it all gets picked up and goes. Now... The thing about staging homes is that it they do it in a way that makes it presentable to all parties. Now, I've had a few situations before where I've been at a property and I'm inspecting the property for a buyer and the vendor comes up and they're like, oh, just let the buyer know that we just got one wall to paint um, and, and then everything's okay. And I asked the vendor, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'm like, what, uh, which wall is it? And they're like, oh, the yellow wall in the living area. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, what color are you going to paint it? They're like, oh, we're just going to do another coat of the yellow. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, that is the fucking most puge yellow I've ever seen in my life. And I said to them, I go, don't even worry about it. I'm pretty sure they're probably going to paint the wall a different color. I don't think they like the canary yellow on their living room walls with their green carpets. I think they're probably going to change it. So don't stress about it. And that sort of come back to the whole idea of, why staging homes, I think, is probably one of the best investments you can do if you're going to sell your home to get it for the best price and to sell it to the right people. Because what I found is, is like in some situations, some homeowners, they've got all these great memories and great stories and great furniture and everything they've accumulated over their whole entire life that no one else gives a shit about. No one cares what it looks like. They don't like the look of it because it's made for the vendor and that's okay. It's okay to be different. But ideally, what you want to do is you want to sell it to everyone, not a tiny niche of people that are similar to you. So what I found is when you walk through these staged properties is they'll go to the owners prior and they'll be like, all right, paint this wall white, do, do, do this here, do this here, and then that's it. And, you know, they might paint over these features, suede looking walls that are fucking brown or some shit and you paint them over white and then they put their furniture in these places. And what's great about it is they just do it so well that they put the furniture in the room, but it's not too much, okay? So it's not functional, but it looks good. And that's all that matters. So when people walk through the property itself, they just walk in and like, oh, how nice is this? Nice pastel colors, a couple of wanky things sitting here and there just to give it that character. And also puts in perspective, they're not walking through a blank house and they're not trying to figure out if things will fit. They get, you know, they've got a bed in a room, oh yeah, cool, chest of drawers. And then like, all right, sweet, you know, walking robes are obviously empty. Um, but the idea behind it is that it just gives that uh, feeling to the buyer when they walk through because, let's be real, buying homes is a very emotional f process because it's always like, I just I love the home. It's like, why? I'm like, I just, just love the house. Um, so what that does, it gives people an idea of, um, sorry, it gives people the understanding of what it can look like when it's beautifully staged with beautiful furniture and it gets people inspired. It gets them excited. You know, they're already looking out to buy a new house, which is super exciting as it is. And then they can see the potential of what that house can be just based on throwing furniture in. Like it makes all the difference and it will give that confidence for that buyer to put a higher price and to get that property because it's the way they want it. They look at it, they love it, they want to buy it. When it's got your own shit in there, it might be a little bit dark in the room. You might have some floral patterns on your bed sheets or whatever that sort of thing is. And it might just get to a certain point where the people walk in, they're like, Ugh, you know, and they're trying really, really hard to picture what it can look like if it's beautifully staged with beautiful furniture. 
But the majority of people will struggle with that. And I've found that out personally, simply just through construction of people, not all people have the capacity to just see in their mind what it can look like if they were to put other things in that space. I think as a builder, and maybe it's something that we, an innate talent that we have, the novice person is going to struggle with that. So they're going to walk through these houses, which is full of all your shit and all your memories. And they're not going to be able to see themselves in that home because it's somebody else's house. Um, and I think that's why, what's so important about the staging of a home. And like, if you're only, if you're investing three grand and you're selling a $600,000 house and you get an extra 10 K on top of that, which isn't a big deal. Uh, I think it's money worth spent and you may just still get the 600 K for the property, but it might sell quick. Okay. So you might, it might just go and sell on the market and you're done. Um, I just think it's a great investment. Okay. So if you're ever going to be selling your property, I highly recommend that you just, you do that. You listen to these people, listen to your real estate agent. Okay. They're the ones telling you this shit and they're not full of shit all the time. They're actually pretty good people. And I recommend that most of them are going to be asking you to stage your house because it's going to help you sell the property better and it's going to help them as well. So you're going to get all your shit out, move it all out. And if you're not in that situation and you can't do, you don't have that capacity to do it, that's okay. There is still things you can do. You can still get as much out as possible and you just sort of have like a minimalistic lifestyle where you live it, while you live in a staged home, okay? Um, they won't let you sleep on the beds and that sort of stuff, but there are things you can do to sort of get around that uh, to make your life a lot easier uh, from a logistical point of view. So if you're selling your property, highly recommend you spend the 3K on your budget associated with selling your property and get it staged. Staging the home is going to just create a whole different feel for the property. It's going to get more people in. It's going to get more views, especially online because those photographers can make fucking magic from the shittest looking house. Going to get more interest, more people through, more probability it's going to sell and then a more probability you're going to sell it for a higher rate in comparison to you got your odds and sods and your bullshit hanging on the walls. So if you're selling your home, set, put some effort into it, get it done right uh, and then you will be absolutely laughing. And uh, if you found any value in this at all, please like and subscribe and share or give us a rating. Any of those things is very helpful. Other than that, I will be uh, here on the next one. Hooroo.